how many visitors are visiting your website from which specific country you are getting a traffic and what's the real-time users on your website everything can be easily tracked with the help of a google tool called google analytics so if you are really interested to learn how to add google analytics with your wordpress dashboard then in this video we will go through step by step this video is divided into two part where part one will do all the setups for google analytics and will integrate it with your website and in the part two i will give you a brief overview how the analytics will look like once it will start capturing all the data so guys my name is kirti shwas from bloggingos.com and on this channel i do create a videos around how to tips on WordPress and a review of digital marketing tools. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and let me know in the comment box whether you find this video helpful or not. Without any further delay, let's jump onto the screen. First, you will go to the Google and you simply type Google Analytics, okay? Then you will find here a tool marketingplatform.google.com and there is analytics so this is the tool which will have a dashboard like this so you will have all that data in your website now to integrate this tool with your website can be done via two methods one you can follow through this web version of it it will give you a code which you can paste on your website which will be a little bit complicated method so we'll use here a plugin method which is quite easy and google made this very simple for that first head over to your wordpress backend go to the plugin section go to the add new plugin section then search here a plugin called sitekit here you will find the first plugin sitekit by google if you go to the more detail you will figure out this plugin is developed by google it is totally free that means you don't have to pay anything they don't have any premium plan well the best part is not only google analytics but google has a different tools such as search console analytics adsense page speed checker tag manager all those external tools also can be integrated with this plugin so this plugin is a one in all solution if you wanted to use all the google product so go back to your plugin section here you can see it has three plus million active installations click to install now then activate this plugin now click to activate once the activation is done on the left hand side you will find here an option google site kit so first thing is click to start a setup that means first you have to create an account with a site kit and that is possible with one of your google account so click to this checkboxes accept the conditions sign in with google this is the moment you should have one google account i believe you already have your gmail account so choose one of that let's say in this case i have selected this email id i will click to continue go to the next screen now click to next click to next click to next and then click to next once you're done with that setup this is how it will ask you to connect with your google analytics account so just now what you did is just connected with one of your google account now you will be creating a property in that analytics account so click to account set up a new account give a name to your account let's say in this case i will give my website name and you can give a property name like teachku let's say in this case i give my account name as my analytics websites within that let's say this time i'm creating a property for this site called teachku remember under this account you can have multiple websites so i've given this name this time that's the property it's a custom value you can provide anything then enter your domain name which it will automatically pick then after your current geolocation it will pick automatically and accordingly it will show stats within your analytics which you can change anytime but for time being let's leave it as it is now create account so the moment when you will click create account it will automatically create a google analytics account within this gmail account so now click select all come back click to continue go to the next screen and see whether it's been integrated or not so you can see the connected services and there you will figure out that your analytics account is already been created so now it's creating it go back accept the conditions click to i accept once you're done with that you can see your analytics was successfully created go to my dashboard now within your wordpress dashboard this time you will be having all the analytical data so you can see site kit under a dashboard if you go to the traffic section this is the area where you should be able to see where you are getting traffic how much impression you are getting which 
particular page is getting a traffic all that stat you can figure it out from here itself remember this plugin not only useful for analytics data but will also help you go back to the settings section it has different options like search console analytics page speed everything you can connect yourself i already did that's why it displayed connected but i'll go back to the dashboard section you should be able to see all the states related to your website remember this is a new website so it will take a time for you to get some sort of a data or some sort of a matrices here now let me take you to the analytic account which is the web version and see whether it has created your account within that or not for that head over to the analytics sign into analytics within that select the google account using which you created your account so i will go there switch this account under a bloggingverse.com and then after within that we are expecting to have that property been created with the name of tichku.com that was so under this account if i will go back you can see it has created an account analytics website within that there is a property tichku and this is the site and this is the area which will start tracking all your website data so from here going forward you will be able to see how exactly the traffic you are getting now let me show you how exactly the dashboard will look like so this is one of my existing website dashboard so once you will start tracking a data this is how your dashboard will look like where this area will display how many users how many events triggered on your website in past seven days you can also change this filter for a monthly or a yearly basis to see more data on the right hand side you should be able to see how many people are currently live on your website if you scroll at the bottom, you will also get an idea the geolocations from which you are getting maximum traffic. In my case, I'm getting from India, which is around 6% users. And on this side, you should be able to see which specific page of your website is getting how many page views. So likewise, you should be able to integrate your Google Analytics with WordPress website simply using a plugin called SiteKit by Google. Hopefully you find this video helpful. And likewise, if you wanted to know more on the WordPress related tips, I would highly recommend to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next one. That's all for today.